got some people coming in, but we'll get started. Thank you for joining me for the next 25 minutes or so for this breakout session where we're going to talk about um, accelerating cloud adoption using AWS and Appian and, and share some ideas for how we can help you accelerate cloud adoption to deliver better customer engagement. So my name is Kirk Punches. I'm the worldwide leader for business applications at AWS Marketplace. I've been at AWS about two and a half years. Um, I came back, uh, I've actually been at AWS before, but I came back to initially to launch our contact center category. So working with technology partners that were integrating with Amazon Connect, which we'll touch on today as a service. Um, now I lead a team of category managers that cover um, a number of different areas of focus for business applications with AWS and helping partners like Appian build their solutions on AWS, but also use our marketplace as a route to market to grow their business. And I've held similar roles at Microsoft where I've helped partners migrate solutions to the cloud. And I've also been on the technology vendor side uh, in organizations going through my own digital transformation. So I feel like I have a good perspective coming from, from uh, different uh, avenues here. And if you think about kind of today's digital landscape, right, um, you as customers, you've got to deliver that always on low latency experience to the customers that you're providing your, your services to. And expectations are very high. Customers are very impatient, right? They expect immediate results. They want a very personalized experience. And trying to do that at scale, you know, when you're trying to address changing market conditions, maybe you're trying to seize market opportunities, grow your business globally, it's, it's a bit easier said than done, right? So that's what we're here to talk about today is give you some ideas, share kind of how we're working together with Appian and get you thinking about how you can deliver a better customer experience. And really what's, what's driving a big change fundamentally and certainly what we're, we're self-interested in is, is cloud itself. So really why cloud, right? And you may be familiar with this if you've gone through your own transformation and you've started making that move to cloud, but it really starts with customers want that agility. They're looking for performance. They certainly want scale, reliability that they know that uh, we can provide at AWS. And because cloud presents that opportunity to scale up and down, it's about delivering cost savings. And I don't know about you, but I haven't met a single customer that told me they started their business because they wanted to manage IT infrastructure. That is not what they were in business to do. It sort of was a byproduct, right? So what they really want to do is very quickly get out of the undifferentiated heavy lifting of managing IT infrastructure. And that's what you know, we can provide at AWS is let you as the customer focus on your innovation. You know, bring those new products to market, develop new features, and let us worry about the scalability, reliability, and sort of that global footprint of, of cloud. And there's a lot of business drivers for, for cloud, and we certainly won't have time to touch on all of these today. But you know, whether it's trying to shut down a data center and save money and move to cloud is certainly a business driver. But I want to talk about digital transformation because that's really the heart of this talk today. So, you know, it's really about how do you transform your business to really innovate faster, iterate, bring new products and services to market, and really fundamentally deliver that personalized customer experience is what we're gonna talk about today. And that's really why customers are choosing AWS. So, you know, you may be familiar with, with us as a cloud provider, but we've been doing this for over 14 years, helping millions of customers. And it's building out a set of services that, you know, partners like Appian can build and grow their business on top of. So, uh, this probably is already out of date. Uh, you know, hundreds of services to deliver value to our customers um, and build it out around a rich ecosystem of partners, great partners like Appian that can help our customers innovate faster as they move to cloud. And we certainly do it globally. You know, one of the things that we talk about is having this large global footprint and it certainly gives you that scalability and reliability, but something that I would also call out is as you're building applications and you start entering new regions, it's also ensuring you've got parity of services. If you're investing in, in AWS as your cloud provider and you start operating globally, you wanna make sure you've got all those same services that you're building your applications on top of and that's what AWS can deliver. And we do it for customers of all sizes globally from startups to some of the largest uh, companies in the world. So let's get into some topics around accelerating cloud migration. Um, exhibit A over here of what not to do. I've been in organizations where migration was not well thought out. If I think back to early days, early being in a company that was an early adopter of AWS actually, we took a, 
what was an on-premise solution and we started developing a multi-tenant software application for cloud and I don't, there, we didn't really have any concept of you know, what was a methodology for cloud migration or uh, didn't really do any planning if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest. And the, you know, the, the heart of this is that these migration projects can be very challenging and I've seen it with a lot of our customers. So even with careful planning, the best intentions, um, you can still run into issues. So just some considerations. And if you've done cloud migration, you may be familiar with these, but just thinking about how your solutions will perform as you go from on-premise to cloud. You know, what are the sort of the technical considerations around performance? Um, I was at a company that had a physical appliance that we first virtualized for a private cloud environment, and then we took to public cloud. And um, even with a lot of sort of due diligence and planning, we quickly started running into interoperability issues because we had to talk between cloud and on-premise, started running into just, you know, um, how we sort of construct our security policies in cloud. So you've got to really think through these things in your early planning fa phases as you're making that migration strategy. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is just your, your basically, what are your, where are your skills gaps, right? So do you have the right um, operational skills? Do you have the right development skills as you're moving to cloud? You just need to identify those gaps early, and I'm certain you will, because it's very rarely as simple as just kind of a lift and shift of a, an application over to cloud. You may start there for testing, but at the end of the day, aren't you moving to cloud because that's that opportunity to refactor, leverage kind of the feature innovation and the scalability that cloud can provide. So you really need to invest carefully and do the planning. And I would call out some of these best practices on here. So it's gonna sound fairly obvious, but just making sure you've got good leadership support as you think about your migration strategy. What are your clearly defined goals? Meaning, are you taking one application or is it a business unit with a set of applications to pilot first? What does success look like on the other end? What are the results that you're trying to measure against? And again, identify and address those gaps as early as possible because I've seen it happen, again, even with careful planning. I was working with a large automotive retailer They'd already started this migration around just a single application and they took what was a monolithic application and they, they kind of jumped more than one step ahead and went into more of a microservice-based architecture and had really done all the steps that you, you would expect them to do from a migration planning standpoint, but then quickly discovered that their tooling, their tooling really wasn't equipped as they moved to cloud to really address their needs in more of a serverless-based architecture. So again, having to take that step back and do some analysis. So, just put your thought into it because you know, these projects can get stalled very quickly and they can set you back weeks to, weeks to years. All right, so what can we do to help? So we have a program called the Migration Acceleration Program. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this, but the reason I call this out and we won't have enough time to go too in depth on Migration Acceleration Program is we've helped thousands of enterprise customers via this program accelerate their journey to cloud. And really what it is, it's a combination of a methodology that we'll talk about. So giving you a best practices around a framework to help you move quicker, do your assessments of you know, really where are your gaps in your business as you make that migration, and then help you mobilize using um, our own professional services organization as well as migration uh, technology and consulting partners that can help get you there faster. And then we wrap it with training and we even include funding. So we do provide both AWS service credits and dollars to help support um, that cloud migration journey. So I encourage you to check out the Migration Acceleration Program. One thing I wanna to touch on though, just to give you a taste is, think of this from a methodology standpoint as really a three phase framework, right? So as you get in sort of that assessment and we've got great online tools, you could, you could go to, to aws.amazon.com today type in Migration Acceleration Program and really get started on your own assessment. That assessment's really identifying, you know, uh, within this framework where you might have gaps around your, your business process, your people, your platform, operations and security. And it's a very detailed assessment to help you really be thinking across all of those areas so that you can get from assessment into this mobilized phase. And that's really where you're building out your migration plan, you're pulling together all those resources, you're leveraging our pro server organization or one of our migration partners to really help get you started to that last phase around that migration and modernization where um, we've certainly proven this out time and time again that that framework does help our customers get to cloud faster and it does deliver results. And you know, whether it's a GE delivering cost savings or you know, other partners that see the benefit in terms of staff productivity 
or operational efficiencies and resilience and business agility. Again, this framework does help you move faster. And by the way, this is a great opportunity to talk about our partnership with Appian, because if you think about that journey together, it really is that better together story. So if you're using Appian's low code automation platform and you start thinking about this initial assessment phase and you know, discovery, right? How do you use process mining you know, from Appian? How do you start identifying where gaps might uh, exist and sort of recommendations for resolving those around your business processes? And then as you get into your, your actual migration, think about what you can do with Appian, right? You can do that quick app development. Now there's your opportunity as you move to cloud to do that refactoring. And using Appian's low-code automation platform, you're just able to move faster, do it more cost-effectively. And if you think about, you know, kind of the cloud infrastructure side with Appian, it's just that fast, rapid application development to help get you there faster, right? So that's that, that great partnership that we have. And then automate, right? We're big fans of automation, so if you can use Appian to automate around sort of your business processes, again, that's going to deliver more value ultimately in terms of that better customer experience that we'll talk about. Speaking of which, let, let's talk about that better customer experience. So if you think about business agility and a reason to move to cloud is about transforming your business and how to more effectively engage with customers, that's certainly something that we have lots of customers doing on AWS today. So you know, whether it's a lift in terms of using GPS data to deliver a better uh, ride share experience, um, I, I would say you know, us as consumers think about um, how you order food, how you order tickets, how you do ride sharing. Those are customers, you know, building their businesses on AWS and they're doing some really interesting customer experience innovation on our platform. And these are just, just a few examples. And it, you know, very often it starts around product innovation, right? So you, you develop these applications on the cloud, you're innovating, but ultimately your competitors can start to see what you're doing around product innovation, right? And they can catch up, they can start to replicate a lot of those same features, leverage the same platform. But one of the areas where we know you can sustain differentiation is around customer experience. And the data doesn't lie here. So when you look at the market and you look at um, who's performing, those CX leaders definitely outperform the CX ladder, laggards by a material amount here. And, and really, why is that? It's because they continuously innovate around customer experience, that personalized customer engagement, being able to you know, have that sort of holistic view of who the customer is, know who that customer is, know how to answer their questions quickly, how to resolve problems faster, and do a lot of testing. And that's, frankly, what, what the cloud is great at, is giving you that quick ability to spin up services, test, iterate, spin back down services, kind of pay for what you use, and then partner you know, with solutions like Appian to be able to do that uh, quick app development and test. Um, in one of the studies that we did, CEO said 69% of consumers will stay loyal to a brand even when their competitors have better reviews. And what is driving that is because those companies that really understand how to quickly engage with their customers and deliver that more personalized experience will continue to win the hearts and minds of those customers and maintain that brand loyalty. I will call out this though, one of the areas that we've seen our customers really struggle, when you think about customer experience, um, is around the contact center. And that's why I wanted to talk a little bit more about this. And, and over the last couple of years, wow, boy, this was definitely a big challenge area for our customers, right? No one would have predicted that there was gonna be, well, maybe a few might have, but very few could have predicted a pandemic and sort of the shift that would have, uh, that this sort of created for our customers, especially around the contact center, right? So a lot of these traditional contact center solutions have perpetual licensing, a lot of upfront costs. They really weren't designed for scale. They really weren't designed to, to leverage a lot of the feature innovation. Um, and that really challenged a lot of our customers when suddenly they had their call center employees that you know, were remote. Um, think about state and local governments that were providing COVID assistance and had all of their, their agents working at home and they had to basically try to replicate where they were coming into an office with dedicated hardware and now suddenly were at home on their home computer. So these were big challenges that were impacting a lot of our customers in terms of how they engage with their, their end customers in turn. Um, we had our own our similar challenge a few years ago on the retail side, so I just want to talk about Connect here because we were building up our retail customer service organization. We have over 70,000 customer service agents and we just couldn't find tools that would deliver in terms of the scalability that we needed and that's why we developed Amazon Connect. So 
If you're not familiar with Connect, this is our cloud contact center as a service. It sits on top of a lot of our underlying AI ML capabilities. Um, and the value of this is like all of our services, it's a pay as you go service. It's easy to get started. We have customers that will spin this up and have it in production in weeks, not months or years. Um, and it really provides customers that ability to go from tens to tens of thousands of agents very, very quickly. And especially during the early months of COVID, um, we had thousands of customers go launch Amazon Connect, have it fully deployed and operational in production in a matter, in, in some cases we saw it in weeks because they had no choice. They had to move quickly, they had sent their entire staff home and they needed to give those agents that same ability to have that omni-channel experience to interact with their customers. So really powerful tool, highly scalable. And just as one example, I won't spend too much time on this as into it. If you think about tax time and all the brands that they have in peaks and valleys, 130,000 calls a day, 33,000 agents across you know, 100 plus teams, a lot of complexity here and had similar challenges with like legacy tools. And if you think about the size of their call center organization, they deployed Connect in under a year and started immediately seeing those cost savings. But the, the, the thing I wanna call out here is, yes, they saw the cost savings, they were able to leverage a lot of our AI ML capabilities within Connect, but what, what I really like about Intuit was able to do is it's the power of cloud. They ran 100 experiments in six months. Think about that ability to rapidly do A-B testing around customer experience, like what's the better way to engage customers and start fine tuning that and then make those changes and then roll those out into production. So that's the power of a service like Connect and the cloud is just being able to do that kind of rapid development and test and pilot and, and uh, do it very uh, cost effectively. And this brings me to our partnership with Appian to sort of how we can build this better customer experience together uh, to support you. So what I appreciate about Appian is Appian's an advanced technology partner and if, if you aren't familiar with kind of our technology partner paths, um, we definitely ask our partners to do the due diligence. We look for the technical validations. We wanna make sure they're well architected on our platform. So Appian's built their solutions on AWS, but they've, we've ensured in terms of that technical validation that they are really designed for scale. They're designed for security, right? That's what we're really looking for with our partners and we appreciate their investment in our platform and, and the partnership. I also appreciate that, you know, as we see customers transforming their business and moving to cloud, they're also transforming how they buy software. And so Appian's made their solutions available in our AWS marketplace that I'll talk about in a second. And then the final piece I would call out is we also have competencies. So you can see here Appian has competencies in areas like healthcare, life sciences, and government. And what that really means is there's a, it's a big investment of resources and time to meet our competencies because again, it's a higher level of due diligence that we expect from our partners to achieve those competencies. And we're looking for subject matter expertise. We're looking for customers and we ask them to validate all this information in order to, to get that. So again, as a partner, they've really leaned in and are really um, investing heavily in our, in our platform and the partnership. And I, so I certainly appreciate that. And I wanna talk about sort of the, the better together story around Appian and customer experience. So Appian for customer engagement, right? So how do you build that next generation contact center and where can Appian help you know, together with AWS? So you know, if you think about uh, a call center and an agent, right? Um, high volume can be very high stress environment. You, you're, you're taking a lot of calls, you may be working across chat, social, right? It's that omni-channel experience. So how do you help make those agents more efficient? How do you give them that holistic customer view with all the data coming in so they know how to take action and answer questions, solve uh, problems faster. And that's really what Appian's low-code automation platform can deliver, right? So some quick examples, which I'll talk a bit more about in the next slide, is just doing things around that unified customer view. How do you take all those data sources in, have a dashboard with sort of a single view of everything about that customer? So as an agent, I know how to interact with them in a more personalized way. How do you provide things around like dynamic case management, right? So if you could, if you could have a, a fully customized process around here's kind of each stage of a case and here's the action that an agent needs to take and here's some areas where you can automate that, that's really gonna streamline how that agent interacts with the customer and allow that agent to be more effective to solve that customer's problem. And that's really what Appian can deliver through their platform. 
And I'm just scratching the surface. There's a lot more that they can do. But I want to give you one more discrete example here because I think this is a super interesting case of really how we work together and are transforming an entire industry. So if you think about the insurance industry, it's really ripe for innovation. If you've got insurance organizations that maybe are kind of built around some incumbent legacy processes, you know, this is where Appian's designed, you know, their connected claims platform to really give you some out of the box modules that you can fully customize to address you know, the needs of the insurance industry. And that's super important. You know, one of the things that I, I saw in one of Appian's, uh, I think it was an ebook or a white paper, is there was a study through Ernst Young that said 87% of policyholders um, say that the claims experience directly impacts their decision to stay with their insurance provider. So guess what? You better, if you're an insurance provider, that better be a very, very good experience because you may not have that customer long term. And this is where, you know, if you think about the claims process, both on the insurance side, the faster you can settle those claims is good for you as the insurance provider, and that's great for the customer experience, right? And that's what connected claims can deliver. I had the opportunity to go a little bit deeper into a demo last night and learned a lot of things that were really interesting to me that I hadn't seen. So if you think about, again, as an agent, getting that unified customer experience, you're dealing with that policyholder, there's a claims they need to file. And so the fact that connected claims can quickly help that agent know everything about that. And by the way, you have multiple agents, right? So what you do with agent A today, and then the customer calls into agent B tomorrow, you want continuity. You want both of those agents to understand the full interaction of activities with that customer so they're better able to engage and support. But now from a claim standpoint, Connected Claims gives those insurance organizations that ability to define with some predefined templates that can be customized around, define your claims process. What are the steps? Where is the customer in that claims process when they call in? What are the next actions that you need to be able to take? And by the way, wouldn't it be amazing if you could also start developing some scoring around what is the customer sentiment? Or even take it a step further and say, you know what, we can see how many claims have been filed by that customer and now start to build out some business process around maybe we should alert, maybe there's some potential claims fraud here that we should be aware of. Super interesting ways to, to really uh, transform an entire industry and get out of you know, some of the legacy ways of doing business and ensure that you know, an entire organization has that holistic view, automate the business processes, and be able to solve those claims faster is really how you're gonna deliver you know, that better customer experience. The one last piece I will say is also within that insurance organization, connected claims can do things like identify every step of the claim, how much time is spent at every step in the claims process. So what if you could start looking at that claims process flow and say, you know what, we've got a, we've got a way to streamline this step and be able to translate that into what is the sort of the cost savings that can be delivered. So imagine if you can now streamline your claims process, that's how you're gonna settle claims faster and you're gonna deliver a great customer experience. So encourage you if you haven't gone to see a demo of Connected Claims, go learn more. It's a, it was really fascinating to see how they're, they're changing, again, an entire industry together with this. And it integrates with Amazon Connect. So now you've got a full omni-channel experience fully built in, and you're really ready to go. And at the end of the day, this is about how do you move faster, right, in that cloud journey, being able to leverage our cloud infrastructure, our services like Amazon Connect, but also partner solutions from Appian to be able to do your app development faster. Um, and, that, and that's gonna you know, drive material differentiation for your business versus your competition. And again, I'd just like to call out, you know, Appian is in Marketplace. If you haven't visited our Marketplace, we're really transforming procurement. I would like to say that this is not just software. You know, we have partner solutions that are around professional services, training assessments that can be purchased in Marketplace. We have partners monetizing data sets in AWS Marketplace. And the value to our customers is just like they buy our first party native services like storage and compute, they can buy Appian solutions out of AWS Marketplace and get it on a bill directly from us. So it's really delivering value and kind of changing procurement uh, as a whole for our customers. So definitely encourage you to check that out. Okay. So some recommendations that um, I would like to leave you with. So if you think about, you know, just starting with how do you accelerate your, your cloud migration journey, it really starts with just leveraging a, a proven framework that we can provide, check out the migration acceleration program, but definitely make sure you've got that leadership support, make sure you've got some clearly defined business goals as a place to start, 
and definitely identify those gaps um, around whether it's people, processes, tooling, whatever the case may be, you know, it's gonna be critical to accelerating your cloud migration journey. Number two is when you think about how do you drive better customer engagement, obviously just gave you a few examples and a taste of this today, but it's everything from how do you create that personalized experience with your customers? How can you engage in more of that low latency kind of real time uh, that really our customers expect, all of, all of the, the brands expect uh, with their consumers and consumers of those brands. So look at, you know, where can you automate your business processes? How can you deliver a more omni-channel experience across platforms to make, you know, your agents more effective as they, in, as they uh, interact with customers? You know, what are you doing around chatbots, right? So there's a lot of capabilities around AI, ML, services like Amazon Connect and partner solutions from Appian that can help you get there faster automate your processes and interact uh, faster with your customers. So with that, I would say, you know, go get the demos of Connected Claims and the other Appian solutions. You can certainly visit aws.amazon.com and you'll find all the information on our migration acceleration program and definitely start thinking about, you know, where you can take, you know, incremental actions to start automating your processes and delivering better customer experience. And with that, I'll wrap up and say thank you very much for uh, spending some time with me this afternoon. I hope you have a good rest of the day at Appian World. Thank you.